record. So it is December 21st, 2019. We are here to do an attunement to the symbol that I named Prisana back in July 21st of 2012. Like I had mentioned, I'd forgotten about the symbol and I found it recently in a jewelry box that I was cleaning out. And as soon as I saw the symbol, I understood what, um, I understood that uh, this was supposed to be used now as the, as the time period that we're going into. So um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about attunements and activations, kind of the difference that I see, and a little bit about um, the, the current time that we're in and 2020 and what we're entering and beyond and why I uh, felt guided to offer this attunement. So um, an activation, the way I see it, is it's something that's, let's say, kind of dormant in us and part of maybe your soul mission. And so when we get activations, it's something that is kind of innately there and then it, it activates that uh, aspect. Whereas an attunement, we could look at as a, um, like energies, because uh, symbols are a language. Symbols are energy, light information, a field of uh, a vibration so to speak, that uh, we can access. And we can imagine that there is an infinite array of uh, energies and different energetic symbols. And so we can, uh, people who can see a particular type of energy and we can name it and give, by giving it a symbol. So it's, it's in a sense a way to get a common, language for these light symbols and this is you know what reiki is if any of you are reiki practitioners and so then we're able to attune or enable other people who may not let's say have access to that particular energy we're able to attune them so that they can also activate that uh, energetic symbol so that's what we're here today to do today is to do an attunement to this symbol, which um, at the time that I received it means the Holy One sings within you. So that leads us to this time that we're, we're entering. And if any of you followed our other work um, that we've done recently, we, you know, and other people, there's many, many thousands of people now on the planet feeling the deep changes that are that are taking place. And so we're moving into a time now when uh, the energetics or the core foundation, uh, the matrices, let's say, that create our reality are really, uh, really changing. And part of that has to do with the changes in our dimensionalized field moving that first harmonic universe of the first, second, and third dimensions to a higher octave, so to speak. And that allows us now to, to really vibrate differently. This is what I would consider the freedom of humanity because um, we've been operating in sort of this unnatural, uh, inorganic system which is uh, people who follow sacred geometry would be called like a bi-wave system where light is, um, it, we experience, have been experiencing extreme polarity. And so there have been lots of um, like bending and uh, bending of, uh, of light in order for us to vibrate in this bi-wave system which is really not natural to what our soul matrix is. Uh, and so the, that, the idea of the Trinity and the tri-wave is the three, because with the three is where you get, where you get balance. So I, I don't wanna to get too complicated on this um, video. It's meant to be easily accessible to a lot of people. So some of our other information, the things that I'm talking about are 
on our YouTube channel, um, Who Are the Autists of the Seven Higher Heavens, um, if you want to watch that a little bit and get an idea of what uh, this, what we mean by this bi-wave bi -wave system. And so there's been lots of overlays, bending of um, natural laws, the law of one, in order for us to be able to vibrate in this, uh, for this last epoch um, as these bi-wave humans. And so it causes a lot of reversals in our physical body so that uh, it's difficult to, to clear our mental body and uh, emotional body. It um, has patterned us in a way to uh, think in what we have called 3D reality, where ego of the first, second, and third dimensions, uh, or first, second, and third chakras, have really held our belief systems to look at the external world and made it, it's made it difficult to really access the heart. And so people who you know, had, had to work much harder to access the heart or fourth chakra and uh, even our soul matrix where we would organically more easily receive information from the God source. So this is really the freedom of humanity. And uh, like the kids are talking about, a lot of other people are talking about, um, it's really about now aligning to soul being the expression of a soul being on this on this planet in a human body and this is why sammy and the autists have said that they have not been willing to connect physically with the body in the way that we have known because it keeps them connected to that soul essence that they know that they are and then they can bring in information and new awareness to this by not having uh, connected with the body in the same way that, that we have. And so it looks like they're dysfunctional in the human body, but in a sense, they're actually showing us that we've been dysfunctional in this human body. And Many masters have come before to try and uh, elevate us out of this system. But when humans are patterned to think a certain way and to feel a certain way, it's been very difficult to get out of that um, sort of phantom matrix. And so by then moving this first, second, and third dimensional uh, harmonics to a higher octave now it's becoming a lot easier to to do that and so these waves are continuing to come in our dimensionalized system is uh changing and so it requires us to be a bit more fluid and it requires us to connect to our soul matrix which is where we will get the information so to speak, that we need to more innately know where, what to do or where we should be. And so, you know, you hear about people who are um, inspired to move to a whole new location or change jobs. It's because that soul is really um, becoming more powerful. And it's, this is making it easier for us to um, connect to our physical body. And so it's like the soul matrix, which um, the way I see it is there's a soul matrix, which is kind of like has a pattern to it. And it's inspired by the breath of God's source. And for that particular soul mission or expression that you came to be. And within that is kind of understanding that there's also this one human soul blueprint, the one avatar soul uh, human blueprint that we're all a part of. And so when we're operating from that level, we, are, we naturally organically know that we're part of that uh, greater human soul matrix and that we each play a different 
different role in that. And so you hear a lot of people talking about it right now is um, that, uh, you know, just to be who you came to be, your unique person, and that we don't have to uh, kind of judge or worry about what somebody else is doing because that's they're aligned to do what they are here to do, right? And so um, in that, then we honor and respect what uh, each of us are, are doing and that that sense of competition then will uh, dissolve and it will be sort of more natural to uh, understand that we're, we're in unity consciousness by understanding that there is this one human avatar soul uh, blueprint. So um, the other aspect that's that feels like it's coming up is that we will really be looking at what it means to be a human being. I mean, I don't think we understand even this uh, for this last last epoch of humanity that um, uh, that the human avatar has a certain uh, purpose to it, that there was an intention by God's source of why we were, the human was created. And so one of the things that the kids have been saying um, recently is that even since the time that the Lemurian human was placed here, there was a ascension pathway. It was a third dimensional human, but with a fifth dimensional consciousness. And we had access to all the information that we needed in order to make the ascension pathway to eventually synthesize with all 12 dimensions that um, the human avatar kind of interfaces with. So by cutting down the human to this third dimensional human with third dimensional consciousness, we lost our uh, connection to that, um, to that information that we needed. So this is sort of putting us back on track. And so it feels, it can feel like it's very different to us, but it's really like the doors opening, more the doors opening. And we may be experiencing it within as if there is more space because uh, our connections are really being opened up. So it may feel like it's, too big at times, you know, there's too much going on that we have access to so much more information than uh, we can we can handle. Uh, and it's because to me, it's because we're ac we are accessing um, the information that we were supposed to uh, have access to. The other part right now that's coming up um, that uh, wants to be shared is that, um, oh, I just lost it now, uh, is that uh, this bi-wave system of reversals and kind of keeping, let's say, uh, vibrations and certain consciousness trapped in the body, that's gonna be freed up. That is being opened up, that's being freed up. And uh, it may, feel like at times there's like dark energies or old patterns that are coming up. From what I'm experiencing, it looks like there is more, um, what I would call, my body was saying that there were, there were like microbots and nanobots that were like surfacing from my body, sur surfacing from my neurology. Uh, and that's because there's been kind of artificial implants in the body even to uh, to continue to vibrate in that lower state. And so it looks like at times it might look like there is this dark energy le leaving or um, really bad feelings that are actually like what is being processed out of the physical the physical body. So I mention that because if suddenly you're doing a meditation and it feels like there's all this darkness being released, that it may not necessarily mean that that meditation you're doing is, um, quote, bad, 
but that it's actually what is being uh, what is being released from the physical body. So this is why it's important to align to soul essence, your soul, to guide you as to what information is is um, let's say true or what's not true because there are a lot there are lots of people right now a lot of uh spiritual guides and uh quote gurus that are potentially not really accessing uh information that is right for your soul matrix or the the human the the, the true human avatar there are beings that can disguise themselves as light beings and they're not really um they're not really here for the benefit of of humanity especially right now when so much is going on the planet there is uh there are people that look like they're descending you know they're being thrown into chaos if they can't if their mental body and emotional body cannot handle the the openings that is currently underway and so Sammy has been showing me, and we're going to be releasing this blog in the next day or so, that there are different pathways that have been uh, specifically created for the true human avatar, because there is a true human avatar blueprint, and then there are human avatars who are uh, have fallen so far or given away so much of their soul that they're fragmented. And so there is a longer ascension pathway for them. There are non-human influences here. There are very big beings, you know, that are all being transited out now into their appropriate uh, pathways. And so there's a level of, of, of trust um, that is required. And again, it goes back to aligning to your unique soul matrix. And so the work that we do and the, and the attunement that we're going to do today, it, part of the intention is that it is an alignment for who you are as a soul being here on this planet at this time, and that it supports um, your process to enable you to, with as much grace and ease, move through these times and be the soul that you that you came to be so there's a lot there's again there's a lot going on and um so this attunement to the symbol prisana is to help us be more fluid through these through these um through these changes and the evolution of humanity that's currently underway because as you can see what Part of what we're doing is trying to um, untangle this uh, sort of mess that we're in, the mess of consciousness and the foundations of, of all our structures, really, that uh, this is based on. And so we're, we're having to untangle what is true and what is not true. And even in this next decade, from what the kids are saying, the foundations of what create our institutions like our medical systems, education system, financial systems, economic systems are all going to be um, kind of rattled. And, uh, but in a sense, out of that, we're tr trying to figure out what the real, what real foundation we want to build these uh, structures on. And so it's to, this is, again, this symbol is, um, to help us move, be more fluid with these changes. Now, oh, I just had another thought and it just left my mind again. Um, so uh, the attunements that uh, we do, um, and you don't have to necessarily use the symbol, you know, or draw it uh, actively on a daily basis, but just receiving the attunement because it goes through um, the central vertical channel and engages the chakra system, it is it becomes physical, and so it allows the attunements that we do 
um, is enables people to vibrate, change their vibration. And uh, what I was told a few years ago is that it's even, it will help more people to make the, the adjustment. And so we're always looking at how um, we can get these attunements out and uh, hopefully in the next year or two, we'll, we'll even be attuning people to do the attunements um, if you know more people are guided uh, to do that. So the way uh, this works, I'm gonna say this in the beginning, um, that uh, if you're not used to using symbols, um, you can say the name like Prasanna, and that will activate the symbol. You can practice drawing it, you know, um, and that will activate the symbol. And by and just by going like this with your hands, if you want to deactivate it, you can deactivate it. And um, you can draw it in your hands, right, and see how that feels. You, like you might practice by drawing on one hand and not the other hand and see how that feels. And so again, I'm gonna deactivate the symbol so that it's not too much. You can draw it and meditate with it and see how, how that feels. So, but again, once you get the attunement, it uh, changes the, the vibration of you. Now, um, because there's lots going on, uh, before the actual attunement, we're gonna do a lots, of, lots of clearing. We're gonna do some deep, deep cleansing. And then uh, I'm going to do the attunement. And then um, I was guided to write down this uh, sort of chant um, that um, Sammy was having a, a challenging time about a week ago. And I was guided into this natural, natural chant. And she, uh, she calmed down from it. So if you, if you are parents of autistics, uh, I think, you know, probably a lot of you know that if we're in a state of calm and peace, it helps bring them to a, a state of calm and peace. Even if they're in a very, very intense, having an intense moment because they're downloading something extremely uh, powerful. So, you know, what I've experienced with Sammy is that just because she's having um, a huge meltdown doesn't mean that there's something bad happening but there's something really uh powerful that's that's coming through so for all you parents out there i know it's not easy and the more that we can stay in that state of grace and flow with what is what's taking place then it helps them to uh, come back to a state of of, of peacefulness so if you're uh, already, I think that's all that um, I wanted to share. And I'm checking in with everyone to see if there's anything else that needs to be shared. Um, again, I'm trying to stay on time because I know it's a busy time of year for, for everyone. So um, if people post questions on Facebook, then I will um, try and answer them or you can send me an email uh, as well. Uh, to send in send in questions okay so if you're all ready I want to uh, share my screen and again the intention is to enable each to flow with the changes that you will engage and activate only that which is right for you. Um, and in order to keep it as graceful as possible for each person, that you will um, each integrate over a period of 72 hours. Uh, so we're gonna stay here for a moment uh, before we do the symbol attunement. And there are some traditional Reiki symbols that I'm being guided to, to use. Uh, I've reattuned myself to the Reiki symbols using our attunement. So they may feel a little different if you are a Reiki practitioner. So sit comfortably and breathe into your space. 
And we're going to activate some uh, shields as well. So Holy Mother, Holy Father, Holy Christ Sophia, please, for if you give permission, each person on the call, if you give permission, I'm going to activate this symbol, Reiki symbol called Honsha Zeishonen, which for me creates like a, a container. So each person, if you allow it, or if you have your own shielding method, you can use that as well. Around each person that is here, we're going to also, I'm going to also seal the containers with your 12th dimensional uh, avatar matrix. Call forth your unique soul matrix to guide you in this process and guide you as to what is appropriate for you in this moment. And that you each only take what you need from the energies of this attunement. And if you allow it, fill it with liquid white plasma light in your own container. I'm going to activate this other symbol called Hoshen. And this is not a Reiki symbol. As a group container. And within your own container, step into the group field. And this group field is filled with liquid gold and liquid tanzanite energy. This tanzanite energy, what I'm finding is that it assists in aligning to aligning that soul matrix, the, the 12th dimensional avatar soul matrix. We're gonna do some deep cleansing and clearing. Sammy is activating the uh, vector equilibrium, which represents the zero point field. I'm also going to activate this portal that goes from the eighth dimension to the 15th dimension. And um, I recently saw that um, in September sometime uh, that all negative beings, negative entities um, are being transited out to the Holy Father of the 15th dimension to be transmuted sent to their time-space reality for rehabilitation, or those beings that um, do not want rehabilitation, they'll be um, sent through a portal where I'm seeing is Divine Mother and Divine Father for uh, basically obliteration or annihilation back to that field of uh, formless oneness of, of love. So activating that so that as we clear, everything is being sent to their appropriate um, vectors in the time-space reality, vectors that has um, now engaged and opened. Take a deep breath and activate three new divas or devas of uh, diamond water. Sati, Siani, Siati. Please clear each person if they allow it. Clear the mental body. Clear the emotional body. Clear the auric field. Clear and cleanse the light body. The breath of Easter. 
ש... 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 Clear the physical body matrices, including but not limited to the bone matrix, the fascia matrix, the muscle matrix, the neurological system, the cranial sacral system, the blood and circulatory system, all the organs, all the major organs, the brain, the heart, the liver, the lungs, the intestines, clear the digestive system matrix, clear and wash the lymphatic system and the immune system, clear and wash out all other physical body systems and matrices that I have not um, verbally mentioned. Clear out the uh, endocrine system. Clear the cells, every cell in our body. Clear the intercellular spaces. Clear the intracellular spaces. Clear down to the subatomic levels, down to the quantum field, engaging the mother arc gateway that is now accessing the quantum levels, the micro consciousness unit universes that we have now, uh, that we now have access to, which is clearing out the quantum fields, clearing out the black magic grids at the subatomic and quantum levels. <sighs> Sammy is activating her uh, dragon chakra, which is three feet below her feet, and doing a deeper cleansing and washing out. <sighs> Activate your central vertical channel, which is the, the hara line that goes down to bring stability. <sighs> and activate this five-pointed star. So our physical body can be seen as like a five-pointed star. So the heart is the center of this star. And your hands and feet and the top of your head is like the five points to bring stability and coherence. <sighs> Breathe. Also going to activate the star icosahedron, which is where the five-pointed star comes out of. And also the star tetrahedron. Bring balance to the above and the below aspects of your being. The right to left, the left to right, the inner to outer, the outer to inner, the back to the front and front to the back aspect. Bring balance to the antiparticle and the particle aspects of your being. Balance every electron and proton. Activate, engage every neutron in your body and in your DNA and the mitochondrial DNA so that we are balanced, we are stable, and we are coherent. Okay, so we'll go to our um, attunement. And you can sit with your hands in prayer position. And again, only if you allow this, it's gonna come down the central vertical channel. So sit with your hands in prayer position. So this is Prasanna. It's gonna come down your central vertical channel.
And now open your hands. This, um, I'm gonna draw the symbol in your hands and this will enable you to draw the symbol in your hands. Okay, you just open it. So I'm gonna draw it in your hands. Prasanna, Prasanna, Prasanna. Sending it through down to your feet even so that it's even in your feet chakras. Prasanna, Prasanna, Prasanna. This will also enable you to feel a bit more steady. Going to uh, do this chant as well now, which um, I was guided to. And this is sort of the deeper meaning of Prasanna. The Holy One sings within you. All the doors of creation has flooded open, thundering through to heal humanity and many other souls. The waves of change sometimes can come in huge swells of unpredictability, but I am steady, I am ready. For I am a liquid gold tectonic plate in the fabric of creation, a diamond sun soul, a diamond sun soul here to do my part. I am malleable, flexible, flowing, ebbing. I am a river, a stream flowing and dancing. I am the breeze and the leaf that effortlessly flows this path of our freedom. I am the river of grace, the stream of peace. I am compassion. I am forgiveness. I am. I am a liquid gold tectonic plate of the dimensionized field, yielding, toning, floating, singing, I am the song, the wave, the ebb and flow, weaving and streaming through. I am effervescent, refreshed by the new flowing river. I am a golden tectonic plate of the dimensionalized field that moves with the, with the flows and ebbs. The currents do not distract me. I can ebb and flow with the changes which lead me to my soul state of being. I am the alpha and the omega, flowing and ebbing. I am the feather that is carried by the gentle wind. I am the river of grace and serenity. I am the stream of peace and tranquility. The wind can blow, knowing that it carries me to the heavenly home that will embrace my new form. I am the wave, the river, the stream. I am the tectonic plate that is made of liquid gold. It pulses through me, cleansing me and washing me anew. I am the quantum field that is ebbing and flowing and singing the new song. I am the heart beating to the new drum. I am the sound wave of God that is ever rising and floating to the new currents. I am the golden tectonic plate being liquefied by the breath and effortlessly moving to the rhythm of the new hum. I am the hum, the drum, the unsung sung song yet to be sung. I am effortless compassion, the river of grace and the gentle waves of serenity. I am the power that softly whispers and the hand that yields the last breath. I am the golden river, allowing, leading, floating, witnessing, ebbing, dancing, toning, feeling, believing, trusting, and evolving. I am the alpha and the omega, the liquid golden tectonic plate, surfing to freedom's shores. In service to the one, the all, and the heart of one humanity, I close and seal this session. May each of you be released to go in peace and flourish.
flesh. So that ends this attunement. May each of you be, be blessed. Um, and again, you can practice by drawing the symbol and you can meditate with it. But just by receiving this attunement and because we um, float it through your um, chakra system, it is dimensionally, dimensionally um, a part of you. So let me close this um, seal with um, the liquid violet flame. Liquid choke array. And and so it is. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to email me um, at moonoros at gmail dot uh, moonoros1 at gmail.com or um, on our uh, Facebook page of the same of the same name. So thank you very much for uh, joining us and um, many blessings to all of you. <laughs>